and action. Uh, <clears throat> dear conservative Christian, if you're out there, if you even exist, uh, you're probably all aware that the Republican convention is going on in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but they had this woman called Harmeet Dillon. I guess she's some kind of fancy dancy lawyer out in California. But see, she's a Hindu. And they let her offer a prayer to a Hindu god named Wahaguru. Wahaguru. And, and she literally called him the, the one true living God. That the God they pray to when they're starting a new endeavor. And, and it, it, you know, I seen an article on it yesterday. And the article had a little video of it. The whole speech and prayer and everything. <clears throat> and it's just total blasphemy. Come on now. And the, and the stinking people in the audience who are supposed to be conservative Christians are literally bowing their head. As she calls a pagan god the one true god. Now Trump's a Christian, right? The evangelical bellies love him. Shit. He's out selling Bibles. He's going to make America pray again. Why is he let this go go on in his convention? It's his convention, obviously. Kind of weird how old J.D. Vance, he's married to a Hindu lady. She's a practicing Hindu. He's a Christian. Graduated from Yale Law School. Where have we heard that before? Scum! <laughs> three, two, three, two, two mean anything? I don't know. It's a secret. <laughs> Oh my. If you're putting up, if you're going to be a, Christ, a conservative Christian and you're putting up with this and you go along with it, you ain't no Christian. Period. 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 You know, you can sit in church for 30 years and not be a Christian just the same as you could sit in a garage for 30 years and not become a car. Believe it or not. You better open your freaking eyes and see what's going on, people. Where was Franklin Graham? Franklin Graham. You know, old Billy Boy's boy. He was invited to it. Why didn't he come out there and rebuke her in the name of Jesus? We ain't gonna allow no pagan prayers at this convention. Just asking, you know. You know, you, you know, if you're all into Trump and you're calling yourself a Christian, you better rethink all this, man. Trump didn't do nothing for this country. 
Trump wrecked this country. Wake up. What happened during COVID? He allowed the economy to be shut down. He allowed the churches to be shut down. Come on. He's, he calls himself the father of the vaccine. How many people around the world have suffered and died Because of this vaccine. Lives have been destroyed. How many lives have been destroyed? People that are disabled by it. Now their families' lives are destroyed. People that have died from it. Now their families and loved ones' lives are destroyed. And now you're going to let a, a Hindu woman offer a prayer to a pagan god at the Republican convention? I'm just asking, and I'm just telling you, if you're going along with this nonsense, you're going to run around and call yourself a Christian. You ain't no more a Christian than the devil. That's my little rant for today. Love y'all. Be safe. And seek Jesus. Seek Jesus. Seek the true living God. The real God. The God that has a throne above the firmament over a flat plain. What are you thinking of that? Oh my. Seek Him. Put your trust in Him. Don't put your trust in man. Don't put your trust in a, in a filthy, cabalist uh, politician, actor. Don't put your trust in any man. Don't put your trust in a scientist, an expert. Put your trust in God. Learn it. You better learn it, and you better learn it quick, because <laughs> we're hearing the, the pitter-patter of the splatter of the shit hitting the fan, man. You better wake up, and you better get on board with Jesus now. Y'all have a good day. Bye.